What if I told you that the solution to economic inequality isn't economic policy, it's tackling racism? A lot of progressives think that if we talk about race, that will end up dividing us. But the hard truth is, we're already divided. And we're divided because there's constant race talk in our society by conservatives. It's just that they're not talking about race expressly, they're using dog whistles. Think about a term like illegal alien. Makers and takers. Welfare queen. Entitlements. Freeloaders. People who just want free stuff. Inner city crime. Drug testing for welfare recipients. What color faces do you associate with those terms? Or think about terms like the silent majority, the heartland, real Americans, hardworking taxpayers. What color faces do you see with those terms? Lyndon Johnson in 1964 is the last Democrat to win a majority of the white vote. And he won in a landslide, campaigning on the promise to end poverty in a generation. And yet, at the same time, racial anxiety is rising in the South because of the civil rights movement. Conservatives sense that they can use racial appeals as a way to win votes. And just eight years later, Richard Nixon wins in an even bigger landslide dog whistling about law and order and the silent majority. And then Ronald Reagan brings it home. You start out in 1954 by saying nigger, nigger, nigger. By 1968, you can't say nigger, that hurts your backfire. So you say stuff like uh, force busing, states rights and all that stuff. And you're getting so abstract now, you're talking about cutting taxes and all of these things you're talking about are totally economic things and the byproduct of them is Blacks get hurt worse than whites. We want to cut this and we want as much more abstract than, than even the busing thing. And a hell of a lot more abstract than never knew. He's able to convince many Americans to actually side with the preferences of the 1% by making fear of people of color tied to our very idea of government. I've always felt the nine most terrifying words in the English language are, I'm from the government, and I'm here to help. And if government is the problem, Reagan said, then trust the marketplace. And easy as one, two, three, you have the policies that have created massive wealth inequality, all sold to the American public through a narrative of racial resentment. Racism is the belief in a hierarchy of human value, that some people are just worth more than others. And that doesn't just affect the people who are seen as worthless. Because in a country where our fates are linked, as long as we believe in a hierarchy of human value, some of us will always end up on the bottom. Everything progressives want, reigning in Wall Street, building a new infrastructure, cleaning up the environment, free college, everything progressives want depends on us having government on our side. And it's exactly race that leads us to fight against each other, that leads us to distrust each other and to resent government, and in turn, to give control over government to the very rich. Some progressives right now think that if we solve the problems of economic inequality, racial disparities and racism will go away. I think it's actually the opposite. We can't solve economic inequality and change the politics of our country without addressing racism. Okay.